warm welcome to the OpenSply's hands-on webcast series for the presentation entitled Benchmarking OMG DDS for Large-Scale Distributed Systems. My name is Reinier Torenbeek, I am a Senior Solutions Architect with PrisonTech, and I'll be doing this presentation for you. Although the title of this webcast pretty much covers its contents, let's take a closer look at the different items that I will cover in this presentation. I will start with a short introduction explaining what the goal of DDS benchmarking is. Then, in order to be able to say anything sensible about this benchmarking, we will define a set of benchmarking parameters. Next, I will elaborate in more detail on the purpose and the scope of a useful DDS benchmarking suite, and with these items in mind, I will present an overview of the DDS benchmarking suite that we have developed within present Prism Tech, called Touchstone. Finally, a simple but educational benchmarking example as ex executed with Touchstone illustrates its applicability. Throughout the complete presentation, I am assuming a basic level of understanding of the DDS concepts. OMG's DDS is a widely accepted standard. However, it's relatively new, and here at Prism Tech, we hear many questions about OpenSply's DDS posed over and over again. For example, typical questions to be answered are Does DDS meet my latency, throughput, and scalability requirements? Or Does DDS meet my quality of service requirements? How does DDS compare to other technologies like, for example, JMS? And how well does it fit in my environment and in my application domain? How user-friendly is a DDS implementation? And last but not least, how well does a DDS implementation comply to the OMG specification. Even though we at Prism Tech might have the experience to help people with these items, part of the product evaluation process usually consists of pro proving the answers by means of a custom-made evaluation application built by the potential user himself. This can be a difficult and time-consuming task for several reasons. First of all, building test applications is resource intensive in general. And secondly, created test systems for DDS are usually not representative. Finally, in-depth DDS knowledge is required, which is usually not present, present. And not only generic DDS knowledge is required, but also in-depth vendor-specific knowledge is required. In order to avoid Having to invent the wheel over and over again, a freely available generic DDS benchmarking suite would help a lot. Before creating such a benchmarking suite, we should think about which aspects of DDS we actually want to analyze. I will sum up the important benchmarking parameters by identifying common user problems, showing how these problems are addressed by OMG DDS features, and what parameters are relevant when analyzing such problems. First of all, latency and determinism, which is given by the user problem that data distribution in a system typically requires the ability to handle different levels of importance. The right important data should always get to the right place, also in a phase of temporary overload condition. Typically, when people try to evaluate this aspect of their DDS implementation, they start out with a laboratory situation where two computing nodes are sending messages to each other and latency is measured. However, this does not reflect the situation in real life where we have a much more complex network with all kinds of data floating around in the network with different kinds of loads at different time moments in time. The real life situation is hard to test. OMG DDS has several features that support this user problem. Most importantly, the transport priority QoS, and can be used by the DDS implementation to ensure that the distribution of more important data always takes precedence over less important data. With this in mind, we define the parameters end-to-end -end distribution, latency, and jitter as a function of the QoS transport priority in both small-scale and large-scale environments, in both clean and overload situations. 
Complex distributed applications often require extraordinarily high throughput. This aspect is quite hard to evaluate as well. Usually, a simple point-to-point -point laboratory situation is not good enough. In real life, systems are much more complex again, with data moving around, and it is interesting to measure the throughput in such situations. The OMG specification provides the concept of latency budget as a means of specifying the urgency of data. With this in mind, we can specify the parameters, end-to-end -end distribution throughput and induced CPU load as a function of latency budget. The test suite should be able to measure that in both small-scale and large-scale environments, in both clean and overload situations. Large-scale mission-critical systems have stringent requirements on the time that can elapse between the system startups and when the system becomes operational. OMG DDS supports spontaneous networking, nodes and applications can join and leave at any time, so a discovery mechanism should be implemented. Sensible parameters are reader and writer discovery times, so how long does it take for a newly joined reader to receive data, for a newly joined data writer to be seen by data readers. This should be measurable both, again, in small-scale and large-scale environments, in clean and overload situations. Some of the non-functional goals of the DDS specifications are reusability, portability and simplicity. These are hard to benchmark. Some third parties have done objective benchmarking for this, but people want to see this with their own eyes. The DDS specification does allow for these features, so violence of these aspects should be measurable, and it is by means of the DDS application code pollution. How much does the application code for a specific vendor diverge from the OMG DDS API, how many application code extensions exist, and how many application agnostic configuration and tuning possibilities does a vendor offer? This item concludes the set of benchmarking parameters that I will cover here. With the benchmarking parameters defined, I'm almost ready to present you the outline of an actual test suite that we created. It's called DDS Touchtone. However, I first want to give you a more thorough overview of the goals we had in mind when creating this suite and what the scope of the suite is. First of all, we want to help potential users. We want to help them create sensible DDS benchmarking tests that are representative for their application domains. Help them become aware of the really important aspects of building systems with DDS. Help them get familiar with DDS without having to write a lot of code. And help them execute trade studies between different DDS impl implementations. All in all, this should speed up their DDS evaluation process as a whole. Also, we want to help the DDS community to accelerate the acceptance of DDS as an alternative to other middleware and to spread the knowledge on DDS application building. Finally, we also want to help evaluate the practical aspects of DDS portability. Also, we want to help ourselves as DDS vendor to test performance and compliance of the products and to test interoperability between DDS implementations with the DDSi standard, which describes the wire protocol. For the remainder of this presentation, and to learn all the details about DDS Touchstone, please watch part 2 of this presentation.